your top stories from Israel every Monday to Thursday right here on the Israel Brief with me, Rolene Marks, as always sponsored by Lay of the Land. And uh, let's take a look at those top stories dominating the Israeli media and we begin down under. There is no place in Australia for their hateful ideology and they pose a threat to national security. These were the words of an Australian minister earlier today when it was announced that Australia would become the 18th country to outright ban Hezbollah. Hezbollah is an Iranian-sponsored proxy and are responsible for carrying out numerous terror acts around the world, including the AMIA bombing in Buenos Aires in Argentina. They also are responsible for launching multiple terror attacks from the south of Lebanon into Israel. Hezbollah and neo-Nazi organization called The Base are the two latest organizations to be added to the Australian terror watch list and uh, there are grave concerns that these two organizations have been watching Australia looking for opportunities to carry out attacks. Australia has reiterated that they will not allow their country to become a base for terror organizations. In other news, a diplomatic spat is brewing between Israel and Belgium. Belgium announced just earlier today that they will be labeling goods from Judea and Samaria as not made in Israel. Our Deputy Foreign Minister Idan Broll is in Brussels at the moment on a diplomatic visit and in protest of this declaration he cancelled all his meetings. He took to social media to say that this is a major setback for any kind of peace between Israelis and Palestinians and that all that it does is it empowers the extremists among uh, the population. He says that... Um, and this has caused an immediate crisis between Israel and Belgium. However, even though there might be a diplomatic crisis brewing between Israel and Belgium, it looks like the freezing relations between Israel and Poland are starting to warm up. Israel charge at affairs Tal Ben Ari has been returned back to Warsaw. She was recalled in August this year in protest of legislation that was passed in Poland that would make it almost impossible for Holocaust survivors to claim restitution on their properties that were seized by the Nazis during the Second World War. Poland has done several acts within recent months uh, to build trust uh, and that are seen as largely positive by Israel. They have adopted IRA, the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of anti-Semitism, as well as boycotted the fourth Durban conference against racism and xenophobia, which really became a conference all about Israel bashing and the promotion of anti-Semitism. We hope that ties between the two countries continue to warm up. And the last story is something somewhat different. We all love the wonderful Dame Helen Mirren, the Oscar-winning actress who has portrayed Her Majesty the Queen, who has portrayed various incredible um, uh, characters throughout her very, very illustrious career. She even... Um, starred in a movie about the returning of a priceless Gustav Klimt painting back to its original family that was stolen during the Holocaust. And, and she's somebody that has uh, always supported Israel. She has uh, visited the country. She stayed on a kibbutz for a while. She's advocated for uh, peace. She recently signed a letter saying that she would not support any boycotts of the LGBT Film Festival right here in, in Tel Aviv and has always been a voice that is uh, pro-discourse, pro-Israel, pro-the Jewish people. Well, she uh, has taken on a role playing the legendary first female Prime Minister of Israel, Golda Meir. And if you've seen the imagery, you'll see she looks identical to the late great Prime Minister. However, she has been receiving a torrent of of abuse, including calling her a racist and a colonizer. So we have a special favor to ask you. 
If you are on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, please find Dame Helen Mirren and show her your support and how proud we are of her taking on such an illustrious role and that we are looking forward to seeing her in it. It's not often that we ask people to be online activists, but in this case, we think that the incredible Dame Helen Mirren, who has shown us so much support, should deserve a little of ours. So those are your top stories making headlines today. You can check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. If you have always been curious about the relationship between Israel and India, we have a fabulous op-ed that's up there now. It's also on our Facebook page at Lottle Site. If you haven't already liked or followed us, please do so. Share our content. We really appreciate it when you do. If you're viewing us on YouTube, please click on the red subscribe button. Like, share our content. And we are on Twitter at Lay of the Land with a digit five. So with the, uh, what day are we today? Wednesday already, can you believe it? I'm Rolene Marks with your top stories on the Israel Brief and we'll check in with each other again tomorrow.